What's up, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Aha. Uh -huh. We're going back to the 2000 album Minor Earth, Major Sky. I did want to also mention, I've heard from the masses, uh, I do get that the um, recording, like the audio recording of that performance for Homecoming is like butchered or sort of chopped up in a way that just makes it unacceptable, so no worries. Um, I won't react to that anymore. I'll wait for later um, live aha uh -huh opportunities. For now, we'll just stick to the studio albums, uh, and we're up to a tune on Minor Earth, Major Sky, uh, and it's called The Company Man. Interesting phrase. Uh, obviously, you know, when it's used, I think in most contexts, it refers to someone who is towing the company line, someone who has no real sense of identity distinct from um, the corporate entity for which they work, someone who will always give the, the corporate answer, someone who will always, um, you know, sacrifice himself or um, put himself out there for the company. Um, you know, it makes me think of that Glenn Gary Glenn Ross movie when um, Al Pacino absolutely goes off on Kevin Spacey's character and he refers to him as a company man um, in like one of the most derisive ways possible. So, um, yeah, that's what I think of when I think of the phrase, someone who, you know, isn't willing to sort of take a stand for themselves or for their coworkers or, you know, for decency in a given situation. They're just always going to give the answer that, you know, the lawyers for the company they work for would like them to give. Um, and they're always going to sort of stifle their own ambitions or concerns um, if their boss or the people who give them pats on the head would like them to do so. Um, so yeah, that's what it makes me think of. It might not relate to that at all, or it might relate to that concept, but be outside of an actual, like, occupational um, corporate setting, and it might relate to someone who, in a relationship, just isn't willing to sort of take a stand for something, or who isn't willing to, like, show their true identity, and just always gives the safe, like, um, the, the answer that will make the least waves, because they want to, you know, make sure that everyone's happy, and so on. Um, yeah, I feel like that may be less likely, but I just, I recognize that company man, even if it is used in specifically the context that it makes me think of, um, it could manifest on a couple different scales or in a couple, a couple different ways. So let's find out. This is AHA, the company man from their 2000 album, Minor Earth, Major Sky. Don't make the sound as we hit 
feel like I was gonna say sedated at like halfway through the song and I feel like that's too strong it doesn't sound like it's you know weighted down or anything but it sounds like it's in this kind of like blurry bright sort of medium where like you can't quite see everything perfectly um, so I think that's like where my brain was trying to put it in the sedated category but ultimately um, really interesting atmosphere and again, after I started reacting to Aha, the first couple albums, if you played that for me, I'd be like, wait, that's the same group? Like, that's really different, interesting. Um, so again, I am feeling how the third chapter, even just after a few songs, is different from the second one, which was different from the first one. Um, and even though there are, I think, hallmarks that connect all three, and maybe some that connect one to three a little more clearly than one, two, and three, um, it is amazing to me the diversity of the the sound and again there's more albums to go so I'm sure this is not something which will cease to be the case um, but it is quite incredible so um, again a very warm kind of inviting tune not quite sure exactly um, the way in which um, Company Man was being used I did hear the phrase and it was you know it seemed to suggest that like um, it will not seem to suggest there was the the chorus about everyone's gonna fall and they're gonna hit the ground but without a sound so I'm not sure how that sort of physical kinetic description relates to the concept of company man I wasn't able to like hear that connection so do let me know if you have an angle let me know what you think of the Sonics uh, cheers once again for all the insight and again you know the recommendations that like man you know you're not getting the full like experience of the live songs that these are because of the way that it's cut and whatever so I do appreciate all of the, the insight and the recommendations. Do let me know what you think of that tune. I will see you next time. Peace.